Have you ever noticed police dogs working alongside security officers at malls, hotels, or airports? The moment you drive into a parking garage, security personnel are there with their highly trained dogs, ready to inspect every vehicle. The process starts with a routine manual check, but the real test comes when the dog circles the car, using its powerful sense of smell to detect anything suspicious. If the dog stays calm, everything is fine. But if it starts barking loudly, that's a sign that something isn't right. So how exactly do these dogs detect drugs, explosives, and other dangerous substances? And with today's advanced technology, why are police dogs still irreplaceable? As smuggling techniques become more sophisticated, criminals constantly develop new ways to hide illegal substances. On the other hand, law enforcement agencies are always looking for better methods to stay ahead. One of the most effective tools they've found? Police dogs. Dogs have an extraordinary sense of smell, thousands of times more powerful than ours. While humans rely mostly on their vision, dogs experience the world through their noses. Imagine you're smelling a bowl of soup. You recognize the scent as a blend of ingredients. But a dog? It can separate each component, identifying every individual ingredient with incredible accuracy. This incredible ability makes them the perfect partners for law enforcement. But how do they learn to detect specific substances like drugs or explosives? The training process for police detection dogs is based on their natural instincts and desire to play rather than an understanding of law enforcement. It all starts with selecting a dog that has a strong drive to chase, retrieve, and stay focused on a task. Trainers introduce the dog to a toy, often a rope, ball, or cloth, allowing it to develop a deep attachment to it. This toy becomes the center of the dog's world. Once the dog is highly motivated by it, trainers gradually introduce the scent of drugs, explosives, or other target substances by infusing them into the toy. To strengthen the association, trainers begin hiding the scented toy and encouraging the dog to find it. When the dog successfully locates the hidden toy, it is immediately rewarded with a fun play session. Over time, this creates a strong connection in the dog's mind. Finding that specific scent leads to fun and rewards, playing with its toy. At this stage, the trainers take it a step further. Instead of using the actual toy, they hide just the scent alone, on objects, inside bags, or in vehicles. When the dog signals that it has found the scent, it is rewarded with playtime, reinforcing the connection. The dog doesn't realize it's helping to catch criminals or prevent dangerous situations. It's simply on a mission to find the smell that leads to its reward. This reward-based training method ensures that detection dogs stay highly motivated, eager to work, and focused in high-stress environments making them invaluable assets to law enforcement agencies. Training doesn't stop at scent detection. These dogs must also be ready to work in high-pressure environments. They are exposed to loud noises, gunfire, and chaotic situations to ensure they don't panic when faced with real danger. This ensures they remain focused on their mission, no matter what. Police use many types of dogs for law enforcement. Certain breeds are preferred due to their intelligence, strength, and trainability making them ideal for roles like search and rescue, suspect apprehension, and detection work. One of the most widely used police dogs is the German Shepherd. Known for its intelligence, loyalty, and versatility, these dogs excel in search and rescue missions, suspect apprehension, and crowd control. Another top choice is the Belgian Malinois, which is similar to the German Shepherd but lighter and faster. These dogs are highly energetic, and are often used in military and special weapons and tactics operations. For explosive and drug detection, Labrador retrievers are commonly employed. Their friendly nature and strong noses make them perfect for working in airports and public spaces without intimidating people. Other breeds like Dobermans, Rottweilers, and Bloodhounds are also used, depending on the mission. While Dobermans and Rottweilers excel in protection and security work, Bloodhounds are unmatched when it comes to tracking down missing persons or criminals. No matter the breed, the key to a great police dog is rigorous training and a strong bond with its handler. These highly skilled dogs continue to play a crucial role in law enforcement worldwide. One of the most common myths is that police dogs become addicted to drugs since they're exposed to them so often. However, this is far from the truth. During training, dogs are only exposed to minimal, safe amounts of substances, just enough for them to recognize the scent. Their noses are so powerful that they don't need to inhale large quantities to detect them. Scientific studies confirm that dogs can detect even the faintest traces of substances, making them invaluable in the fight against crime. So, despite all the technological advancements in law enforcement, police dogs remain irreplaceable. Their natural abilities, combined with expert training, make them one of the most reliable tools in security operations worldwide. Would you trust a police dog over high-tech detection devices? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of police dogs, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell.
There's so much more to explore, and we'd love for you to join us on this journey.